What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I bring you 5 things I like and 5 things I hate about the GPD Pocket. So let's begin with the likes. So the first like is the size. I love how compact this is, making it very nice and easy to travel with. The second like is the build quality and design. So this device is built completely from metal and the design looks very similar to the MacBook Pro. The third like is the beautiful screen. So you have a full HD 7 inch touchscreen which is very responsive and a nice screen to work on. So the fourth like is USB 3 and USB C. So you have a USB C port so you can actually plug in a USB C hub giving you access to more USB ports and even an HDMI port. So with one of these hubs you can display up to 4K on a 4K display. Um, you also have a standard full size USB 3 port too, which is very useful. Now the fifth and final thing I like about the GPD Pocket is you have a full version of Windows 10. So you have a completely activated full version of Windows 10 Home allowing you to install and run any application as you would on your Windows PC. So those were my likes, now let's move on to the five things I hate about the GPD Pocket. Now the first hate is the fact that this has no webcam. I would have loved to have a webcam on this device, even if it was a cheap VGA camera. Not having a simple webcam and you've got enough space to put a webcam, um, I'm not sure why they didn't include it. The second hate has to be the battery life. GPD claim up to 12 hour battery life, but this is not entirely true. You can get close to 10 hours if you're just web browsing or working on documents etc. If you watch videos or any type of multimedia and games then you can realistically expect around 5 hours of battery life. So battery life is not bad if this was a full size 15 inch laptop but for such a small portable device you would expect a slightly better battery life. My third hate has to be the mouse button. So you've got this old IBM style mouse button which I hardly use. I don't use the mouse, I don't find it practical. I find it easier to just use the touchscreen and you're perfectly capable of doing everything with the touchscreen. You don't even need a mouse. It's there if you need it. I don't personally like it. I, I prefer the touchscreen. Now the fourth thing I hate about the GPD Pocket has to be no touch typing. I don't completely hate the keyboard. The keyboard is very well made and very well thought out. You've got a good response to every button you press on the key. But I find I cannot touch type at full speed. As the keys are a little cramped together and arranged a bit awkward, so generally a good keyboard but not easy for touch typing. If you're into fast touch typing, you ain't going to be doing that on this device. The fifth and final thing I hate about the GPD Pocket has to be the price. It's expensive. Now the price is a little high and the average consumer will find this expensive. This device should have been priced around $300 to $350 mark. Since I originally bought this for $500, the price has now dropped to $449. Yes, I know the build quality, parts and specs are superb, so some people will find it's worth the price, but looking at it from the average consumer perspective, it is still quite expensive. So there you have it guys, that was the 5 things I like and hate about the GPD Pocket. I've had this device for a few months now and I use it mainly for web browsing, watching and uploading YouTube videos, lots of Word and Excel. I also found this great for doing firmware updates on various gadgets. I love travelling with this device and I can simply tether with my smartphone and have the internet from anywhere. I am mainly a MacBook user and everything I do is on the MacBook. But thanks to this device I no longer need to travel with my $2000 MacBook. I can continue to edit all my videos on the MacBook, stick them on a USB drive and then I can upload the videos from anywhere with the GPD Pocket. So I personally find the GPD Pocket great, I use it every day. So this year GPD has generally impressed me and I look forward to seeing what they produce next. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourselves. That's all for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.